OK, in this question, we're asked to express the following algebraic fraction multiplication as a single fraction in its simplest form. So make sure you're reading the question here. We're not asked to solve for x. We're just asked to make this into a single fraction, and you must have it in its simplest form. The key with these questions is factorising. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise the numerator and denominator of each part. Let's factorise the top. So firstly, I'm just looking at this section here. What's a common factor of 2x cubed and x squared? Uh, well, x squared is. So I'm going to factorise out x squared, and I'm left with, in the brackets, 2x add 1. OK, now I'm going to factorise the uh, denominator of the first fraction. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to factorise uh, this component here. Now, you should notice immediately that's the difference of two squares. So that factorises as x add 2, x subtract 2. OK? Now let's keep our multiply in there. Multiply by um, this. Now let's try and factorise this. There's no common factor of x and 2. So that just stays as x subtract 2. And then on the bottom, you'll notice I'm putting brackets around here because it makes it easier when we're going to do the multiplication. Lastly, I want to factorise this here. So I've got two brackets. I know I'm going to have a 2x and I'm going to have an x, OK? And I'm trying to multiply to negative 3. I'm going to get myself a negative 3 here and uh, add 1 there. So that's what I get my first uh, mark or so for, for the factorising. So factorising this, factorising this, and factorising this. Um, and now what I can do is I can multiply the fractions. Now remember when I multiply the fractions, any factor on the, that ends up on the numerator and the denominator, you can divide and hence cancel. So we know that that is going to end up on top and on bottom, and they effectively cancel. And also an x subtract 2 ends up on top and on the denominator, so it's going to cancel. So we're going to be left with what? So I'm going to use my identity symbol here to say this is equivalent to or identical to and this is therefore going to be equal to where you're left with an x squared on the top and what you're left with on the bottom where you're left with an x add 2 and an x subtract 3. Okay, so this thing here is identical to that and that's in its simplest form. Now you're in an exam, you may under pressure make silly mistakes. How do you check this is actually right? Well, what I would do if I was you is I would substitute a value of x into the original expression, substitute a value of x into your new expression, check you get the same answer. Now, what do you substitute in? I would substitute something like um, x is a half or something like that because uh, x is 1 or 2 might give you a lucky answer that's the same. x is a half is very unlikely to do that. Okay? So, um, uh, just when you're checking, um, type that into your calculator, this whole thing, with half in there. Type this in with half in there, check you get the same. That will confirm you've done this correctly.